Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to write the equation of the ellipse um, given our points of our vertices and our covertices. Now, it's important to know when we're writing the equation of the ellipse, there's two equations that we could write, one with the horizontal uh, major axis and one with a vertical major axis. So we need to be able to determine you know, which formula we're going to be using. So to do that, what I like to do is plot the points that we're given. Now remember, um, when we plot the points, that the center, the foci, and the vertices all lie on the major axis. So when plotting my points, I have negative 1, 11. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I have negative 1, 1. So those are my two vertices. Now without even graphing, without even um, finding the, uh, my covertices, I can see that since my vertices my, uh, have to lie on the major axis, I can see that my major axis is going to be vertical, right? So therefore, I'm automatically going to use the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 1. And then remember, when it's vertical, the a, um, the distance from my center to my vertices, is going to be the y, and my b squared is under my x. So now my idea is going to be figure out find a, find b, and find yk. Um, let's plot the covertices though first. So that's at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And at 2, 6, 1, 2, up 6. OK, now what's important, so this is going to be, these are my covertices. And these are going to be my minor axis as well. Now notice that the intersection of the major and the minor axis is going to be the center, which will be right here. So I can see the center. Let's just kind of write in our information. The center is going to be at negative 1, comma 6. Because it's going to be in between the, um, or it's going to be at the intersection of my covertices and vertices. Now, <clears throat> so remember, the center is always in the form of h, comma, k. <clears throat> so therefore, I can determine that my h is negative 1 and my k is 6. Before I enter those in, let's go ahead and figure out what my um, a and b are going to be. Now remember, a is equal to the distance from the center to either one of the vertices. And it's an absolute distance. So all I need to do is go from my center and go up to my vertice, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So therefore, I can say a is 5. And I can just double check that going in the opposite direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. And then my covertices is going to be, or I'm sorry, b is going to be distance from my covertice to my center. And I know it kind of looks a little awkward here. Well, let's make sure. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So I just kind of have a bad scale. But you can see that the distance from the center to the covertice is going to be 3. So now I know what a, I know what b is, and I know what hk is. So now I just need to plug them into my formula. Now remember, the formula is opposite of h, opposite of k. So it's going to be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 6 squared all over b squared is going to be 9 over 5 squared is 25 equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of the ellipse given your vertices and covertices. Thanks.